this morning and Mike I know I heard the thunder last night it was roaring yeah I was out there trying to shoot video but we didn't yeah. see anything severe where I lived in Van Buren but other areas did look at all these peppering of storm reports 60 mile per hour wind gusts up in Oswego 59 but around the throughway and point south is where we saw the bulk of the tree damage and uh, people losing power yesterday so maybe a little cleanup for some people those branches and trees UV index hey we're back into some sunshine this afternoon by the noon hour I think many areas are mostly sunny very high. It's at an eight. We're getting it closer and closer here late in May to the summer solstice. So those numbers will get up towards 10 and 11 on afternoons like this in about another month. So about a 25 minute burn time if you don't take precautions. This is a first. We are now seeing some weed pollen. It's at low levels, according to Aaron Rochester, and just barely into the high category, the tree pollen right now. Specifically, it's switched over to walnut. So there's your latest pollen count. Keep you updated on that. Well, we've got some changes today thanks to this cold front. It's our next weather maker. As that slides to the east, the humidity will go down. And by tonight, some more comfortable sleeping weather moves in. That cooler weather comes in, especially for Friday night. You know, a lot of people go camping. Uh, great for sitting by the fires. Uh, yesterday, it almost felt like a fire did net with that 93, but we've got a lot of sunshine with this high pressure. I wish it would last all weekend long. I can promise you some sunshine today and then for tomorrow. Maybe we make it into Saturday morning, but eventually we're going to find some storminess moving in. By the way, it's snowing out in the Rockies. So let's look ahead with our future cast here. We're going to clear out as we work through the late morning. Early on, some scattered, mainly light rain showers. There could be a downpour, even a thunder shower here in Shenango, Otsego County, going into Herkimer County. By 10 a.m., we're still mostly cloudy to partly sunny in Syracuse. The sunshine is more towards the western Finger Lakes and Wayne County. This clearing could be a little aggressive, but eventually it does work in. A mostly sunny sky, less humidity, and temperatures near 80, which is still above average. A nice summery afternoon. Winds will be a, a little bit of a breeze, gust to 15, 20 miles per hour, so nothing too strong for today. And then open up the windows there out the house for tonight, turn off the AC down into the 50s. They're not far from the 40s down here. Sky's mainly clear for tonight, mostly sunny, a gorgeous Friday. This does, in fact, get my pick day of the week, the pick the P Dow will be in the mid to upper 70s for highs. Nice and quiet tomorrow night. Mostly sunny at least early on Saturday with clouds increasing. And this could be a little slow. I think by the late afternoon, some scattered showers and thunderstorms picking up for Saturday night, but then quickly ending Sunday morning. So definitely not a washout this weekend. It's late Saturday going into Saturday night after a dry Sunday, 79. We're at 79 on Memorial Day, but some isolated showers will increase to numerous heavier showers and thunderstorms. Potential for some flooding going into Tuesday, 70 and breezy on Tuesday with showers and storms only in the upper 60s by Wednesday, cooler then.